Ma'am, can you turn the engine off for me? I can't stop. I have to keep driving. Ma'am, I need you to stop the car. What is that around your neck? He made me put it on. He said to drive or he'd kill me. Is that a bomb? I have to go. I'm sorry. I don't want to die. I have to go. He made the right call. We have to assume it's a real explosive. Coordinate with the bomb squad now. Follower. But stay out of the radio range. Yes, sir. If the bomb has a remote trigger, our radio signal could set it off. Air support's on its way. Yes, sir. Maybe we can get a court order for all the cell carriers, get phone numbers attached to her home address. It's already in process. There's an empty lot near Nolan's location. Perfect. I'll send back up to you now. So Harper Lopez. Nolan says the driver's under duress. Says she was told to keep driving or the bomb would detonate. Did he give her a destination? No. Doesn't seem to be a body target. She's the target. Whoever chose her did it for a reason. Nolan, bomb squad needs to know what they're dealing with. Can you get a picture? No problem. Turning off radio, going dark. Why don't you pull up next to that car? Try and stay parallel. The bomb car? Yeah. Okay. Getting closer to the bomb car. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, it's a uh, hinged collar uh, secured around her neck, kind of like handcuffs with quarter 20 tap standoffs at regular intervals. Nolan. Explosive is built into the side of the unit. It contains C4. It's connected with red and green wires. It's done. Almost done. No, no, we have to fall back. I just need a better look at the clasp. It's, it's, it's secured under her chin with a pin post lock, dual post shackle style mechanism. <laughs> Did you get it? That was some slick driving. Thanks.